Hello, welcome to my channel. So I have never in my life had this. My roommate got this in the Middle East. I think he said Qatar, but uh, he, he got this at Trader Joe's. It's Kanafi, Kanafa. I don't know, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. It's a crispy, buttery, shredded phyllo dough with filled with gooey cheese and topped with crushed pistachios. So if you're new to my channel, I do food reviews and I just got through getting like a lot of Trader Joe's stuff and he also got like quite a bit so stay tuned we're gonna do like a lot of Trader Joe's stuff or at least I am because he doesn't want to be on camera but at least not now but in the future but anyway so you bake it for four I think it was 475 425 for 20 minutes and it did burn a little bit around the edges as you can see and then you take it out of the oven and it comes with a syrup, and it's pretty much simple syrup, which is sugar and water. You put that over the top, and when you do it, it makes this like crispy, like this, like crispy, I don't know, like snap up or crack or pop by crispy sound. And then it comes with pistachios you put on top, but they're really skimpy on the pistachios. Like, I was like, that's all the pistachios. It smells like, um, that phyllo dough pastry that you get at, um, oh, what is it? I'm out of it. It smells like phyllo dough pastry that you get, like, Greek food is what this smells like. But I think he said this is Middle Eastern. That's different. I don't know if I like that though. The cheese is a little bit on the salty side. Not extremely salty. But see some of the burnt pieces. And so, I'm trying to see, is that all this is? I gave him the other two slices. He's in the house. I guess he's eating it. I don't know. Oh well. Let's see here. So I guess it's phyllo dough and in the inside is the cheese. It kind of reminds me of mozzarella. It's kind of like mozzarella. And kind of ricotta. It's different because like it's kind of savory the cheese and then it's like sweet and kind of remind me of like you know some people like like waffle and fried chicken or something like that I think it is is like they combine like savory lunchtime dinner fried chicken with like maple syrup and breakfast and I don't like doing that stuff that's what this reminds me of because it's like you got the savory cheese and then you got the sweet stuff. It's like a sweet and buttery dessert featuring gooey, gooey, gooey cheese. We've been waiting for all our lives. Knaf, knafa is a traditional Middle Eastern dessert, sometimes spelled knafa or knafa. Popular throughout the Middle Mediterranean region. From the outside, it looks like a simple cake of crispy shredded phyllo. Inside, though, lies the cheesy treasure, layers of mozzarella, and I don't know what that is. Miseritha cheese. I don't know. I wasn't good in school, as you can tell. And they're creamy, sweet, and salty flavors. Yeah, it's a little salty. A drizzle of simple syrup. Add sweetness and crunchy. You know what? I'm going to say something about that simple syrup. Crunchy pistachios. Blah, 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 blah. When I opened up that packet. Well, actually, he opened up. I helped him. But I told him, I was like, I wonder if there's rose syrup. Because when he was talking about Middle Eastern, I'm thinking rose. I think, in my opinion, and now that I tasted it, I think it might be better that if you get this, drink the simple syrup out of the package, and not just like one or two drops of rose syrup. And then when I get back in the house, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna sprinkle some cardamom on top. I don't know. I think that might be good. But um, it's shredded phyllo dough sugar. The cheese is mozzarella cheese. I knew it was mozzarella. 
Mizathra cheese. It's like a sheep goat milk. It's sheep and goat cow. So this cheese, this special cheese, is sheep, goat, and cow and cream all together. Wow, and unsalted butter. Yeah, I'm sure this is high calorie too. I mean, you got this sweet sugar, that's, and then the phyllo dough, so that's carbs and sugar, and then butter and cream. Yeah. It's growing on me. But I cannot stress enough that it's like a savory dish. Those people that like chicken and waffles and to each their own, I'm not crazy about that. That's what it reminds me of, like where you're combining two different... I like the cheese, but I don't like it with the sweet. It's hard for me to review. Oh, I'm not like the fact that there's hardly any pistachios. I'm not crazy about it. It doesn't have a bad taste. It's just, again, chicken and waffle combination. If you're into that, into that, you might like this a lot. Um, he did take a bite of it before I left, though, and I did say, does it taste like the Middle East? And he's like, no, not like the Middle East that I had. So it's not authentic, I guess, according to him. I give it, it's hard for me to say because I've never had the authentic one before. Mm. I'm not crazy about it. I like the cheese. I don't like the sweet. The cheese I give like a 7 out of 10. I'm not crazy about it. Filo dough. The cheese, 7 out of 10. The whole thing is in general... Three point no, a three, a three out of ten. So please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other Trader Joe's products or other foods you want me to try. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. There's mosquitoes in my car. Like I left my car under the um, the trees, and I even put like lemongrass and citronella and peppermint like all in my car, and they're supposed to expel like. Um, mosquitoes but as soon as I open up there's like little mosquitoes flying around I'm like what? is it attracting them so I don't know so I'm like literally sitting in this car getting eaten up by mosquitoes but this channel is important to me and you're important to me so I'm just gonna suffer I guess for a little bit um, other than that it's Saturday I don't know how much going on today until next time have an awesome day alright bye bye